Hello everybody. I am Dr. Farhan Zameer, an adjoint faculty at Biotechnica. Today, we are here to have a, an intense and important discussion on why exactly all biologists should know bioinformatics. When we talk about science, science has been evolving exponentially with rate of time. And not to forget, with the advent of technology, science is even exponentially growing up at a much more faster scale. Now, as Darwin rightly said that if you do not have any crisis, this means to say you have not evolved. So the same is the logic with that of science. Science being so vast, so complex. Now, with the advent of technology, we were able to we, we find that or we feel that we have deciphered it. But trust me, my dear friends, it is much more complex to be understood. As we grow in terms of technology, understand biology in a much better way, then we realize that what we know is very little. With this kind of an evolution, if you, if you trace back the, the, the path of science, we have seen various kinds of uh, revolutions. One, it was on green revolution. Second, it was on white revolution. Third, it was on blue revolution. And trust me, my dear friends, currently we are into a revolution which is called as data revolution. Everything in the current scenario is data. Everybody, you know, take it from your Aadhaar number, take it from your mobile number, take it from your IP numbers, and all these have now been concentrated on data. And this has led to a emergence of a new kind of a science, which is called as data sciences. Or previously, it was also called as information technology. To make you understand how we would try to, you know, how do we uh, actually try to dwell upon bioinformatics, let me try to explain what exactly is bioinformatics. If I try to write this word as bio, Info matics. And if I try to decipher this word as bio, info, ma, t, and sis, that's cs. Now, what does this word talk about? Biology should be a major foundation of bioinformatics. Now, if you are planning to be a very good bioinformatician, the fundamentals of biology should be very, very strong and it should be well understood. I repeat, it is not well read, but however, it should be well understood. Now, the next component over here is, how do I use this biology into a meaningful data? And to transform this biology into a meaningful data, I need to develop information. So now any data, ATGC has no meaning, but however, when I say ATGC binds to a particular codon, that gives me an information. So what I need to understand is I need to code biology with that of information. Here comes a very crucial problem. The crucial problem is this, then the computer is not able to understand biology. So what I need to do is whatever I want to translate biology to the computer, it has to be converted into binary language. And since we know binary language is a language which comprises only zero and one. So whatever I want to tell the computer in terms of biology example, you know, if I want to talk about albumin, albumin for a computer is not albumin. Albumin for a computer, it should be zero one, zero one, zero one, something like this. So I am trying to code this biological component onto mathematics using binary languages. Now, since I have a very limited room for using zero and one, I need to validate the data because I need to make it much more unique saying that the, the tick component, that is the statistics is much more validated. Now, how do I ensure that this huge amount of data could be properly processed? This is by using a tool and this tool is nothing but your computers. And the science in which you are trying to code the entire component of biology or any information onto computers is called as computer science. So what I'm trying to make you understand, my dear friends, is if you want to become a bio proper bioinformatician, then 
you need to understand biology. Second thing is information technology, mathematics, then statistics, and very importantly, computer science. Now, what is the advantage of me understanding bioinformatics? Or why should I study bioinformatics? To, to know about this, let me try to make you understand this concept. Now, as we know, this is our DNA. I have a cell, and from this cell, I have extracted DNA. And physically, a DNA which has been extracted from a cell is around 2 meters in length. Now, this DNA, which is 2 meters in length, if I am able to sequence it, and then put into the data in form of A, T, G, C, so on, it would require around 180 years to manually read the data. Trust me, my dear sir, yes, I told you it is 180 years. This means to say, if I keep an average lifespan of a human being as 60 years, this human being has to be reborn thrice just to read one information which is coded from one cell, which is an absurd case, which is a meaningless case. So, how do I solve this issue? This has been solved by amalgamating your biology with computers. And here comes the new branch, which is called as bioinformatics. What does bioinformatics do? Now, bioinformatics using algorithm and coded languages, it is able to process the entire data which you took manually for 180 years. This could be done within milliseconds on a click of a button in a millisecond or if the data is a bit huge in size, then it would take some microseconds. So you have saved so much of data and trust me, it is it has not just read the data, but it has also processed the data, interpreted the data, analyzed the data and it is just popping out of your screen. The things have become so much easier. Now, this has been utilized for biomedical sciences. Very importantly, for diagnosis of many disorders and diseases, which might be either genetic or congenital or many a times lifestyle. So diagnosis could be done, treatment could be done, and also therapy can easily go out with bioinformatics. Now, there's a new branch of science which is actually making a buzz in bioinformatics, and that is called as pharmacogenomics. Now, let us try to understand what exactly is this branch of bioinformatics which talks about pharmacogenomics. Now, pharmacogenomics is a tool wherein we are trying to use a biological information, either your DNA or an RNA or a protein, to understand the intricacies of a given organism, and as we know, all these genetic materials, all these components are very unique to an organism. Take it humans. Now, under this case, when I have been born, so what the clinician will do is they will take my, you know, uh, umbilical cord fluid, okay, or uh, stem cells, and they will, you know, sequence it. Either they go for a protein sequencing or a gene sequencing, and this data is being given to the individual as one chip. Now, this chip is my identity. In many a times in US, people are now trying to put it onto their, you know, necklaces, saying that as a, as a status symbol, that this is a, uh, you know, this is my identity. But fun apart, the important component is the same individual, when he or she is sick, the clinician or the bioinformatician will also try to take a cell, sequence it in around one and a half hour or two hours, and then they will try to match the sequence, which was an old sequence, which was already in your chip, to the newer sequence when you are actually sick. So this is a healthy sequence, and this is a sick sequence, and then using various kinds of bioinformatic tools, they are able to know what are the differences or what are the similarities in between the two. Now, this gives a fingerprint map saying that this is an exactly particular site or this is a gene or this is a protein which is getting upregulated or downregulated and because of this reason our uh, individual is suffering with a disorder. Hence, it becomes very very crucial to also give up a drug. Now, in the current scenario, most of the drugs we suffer with a lot of side effects. 
But however, when we try to design drugs which are called as personalized drugs, custom made drugs which have been designed only for that individual taking care of all the body parameters, this can create a big revolution. Okay, so absolutely zero side effects and then the effectivity of the drug is almost 100%. So here we come across a lot of scope in terms of bioinformatics and I urge all biologists to learn bioinformatics for a simple reason that this is the future for the next 10 to 15 years at least. Since we know even in bioinformatics there would be an evolution and let's see the amalgamation of AI, ML and all other advanced tools with that of bioinformatics can also create a big boom. With this, I urge you people to, for all biologists to understand bioinformatics and learn bio, you know, bioinformatics, which is a much greater fun to actually try it out and learn it out. It's more of a fun playing with a lot of tools understanding biology, interpreting biology, understanding the most intricate and complex networks into, you know, deciphered into much more simpler, simpler things so that we can actually minimize sufferings. As clinicians, we need to minimize suffering. As biologists, we need to minimize suffering so that we can have a, a good well-being throughout our life. So thank you very much for joining in. So uh, this video was mainly to create that the intention of for all biologists to learn bioinformatics. So thank you very much. If you have any comments, if you have any suggestions, if you want to watch many videos like this, please do comment on, 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 the, on the button down and also do not forget for uh, subscribing our channel. So thank you very much. So have a, have a, have a great uh, career in biology and we at Biotechnica and our team, we put up a lot of effort to bring good science for uh, students who are totally interested with bioinformatics. We see you, we see you people as the budding scientists of the future. Thank you very much.